This story is called The Daffodil and Primrose Find Happiness. It had been a long, hard winter. The sun had seldom shone and the days were short. It rained and it snowed. The fields were empty and the woods dark and lonely. The squirrels had eaten their last acorns and were hungry. The field mice had grown tired of hiding and wanted to be playing in the warmth of sunshine. And there were so many things longing for spring. The cottages were quite close to each other, but not too close. They each had a lovely wild garden with beautiful flowers that appeared each year, as if by magic. Some of the flowers were quite small and delicate, and others were tall and strong. No one knew what would appear the following year, because the flowers looked after themselves and made their own choice of where to live and when to be seen. This was the excitement of the cottage garden. Mrs Willoughby, who was 84, lived in the slightly larger cottage with the slightly larger garden. She lived alone and had no one to look after it. For more years than she could remember, the garden had always burst into life as soon as spring had arrived. For her, the magic was not knowing what colours, what shapes and what scents would be given to her. Some time ago, she had visited a flower shop and had naughtily bought herself a treat. It was a daffodil bulb, which the packet said would produce the brightest of bright yellow petals surrounding a golden middle. Mrs Willoughby had waited many years for the bulb to flower, but this year she could see it had decided that the time was right. It was March and the soil was warming. In the slightly smaller cottage, with a slightly smaller garden, lived Mr Arnold. He had been there a long time. He and Mrs Willoughby had often had tea together. She always came to him because he had the green tea with orange and lotus flower. They were never short of something to chat about. His garden was wilder than hers and he had never been to the garden shop. This year, he noticed that a new wild flower had appeared. It was quite petite and looked very gentle. It had soft yellow petals and was basking in the sunshine. Mr Arnold thought it looked like a very small rose, without the prickles. He decided to call it his primrose. One afternoon, Mrs Willoughby popped round for tea and she and Mr Arnold sat in his garden having one of their chats. She was enjoying her second cup when she noticed Mr Arnold's primrose. She told him how beautiful it was and how lucky he was to have it. Mr Arnold was daydreaming and not really listening when he suddenly spied this handsome golden face peering through Mrs Willoughby's garden fence. It was her daffodil, and it was smiling at his primrose. The primrose turned her head, blushed a little, and smiled back. They had found happiness. <laughs>